Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Good to see each and every one of you. Thank you for stopping in. If you're new here, click that subscribe button, click that bell if you are interested in what you are seeing, what you're hearing. My name is Mark Hopkins. I'm a Baltimore-based musician. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Ladies and gentlemen, today I want to talk about something that I have only recently discovered in the 30 some odd years that I've been playing this instrument. And that is, I feel like a lot of us are underutilizing the Stratocaster. And what do I mean by that? I mostly mean using the pickups, underutilizing the pickup selections. Only as of recent have I discovered my love of the middle pickup selection on this five-way blade. I love the bridge, I love two and four, and I love the neck. Never really hung out in the middle, ever, ever, ever. So, what I want to talk to you about and impart to you is do not sleep on this middle position on this pickup. This thing has all of the clarity and brilliance and focus and punchiness uh, that you would want and the best of both worlds of your neck and your bridge pickup kind of thing. It's like right in that middle. Duh, obviously. So it's got that Mayer thing. So I know that Mayer, John Mayer uses the uh, the middle pickup a lot, uh, especially when he's soloing and everything. So I've kind of dug a little into that and kind of been trying to keep my ears open for when I hear it. But you can hear it as a guitarist if you're playing and you're playing on that middle pickup in a clean amp, you can hear that Mayer thing for sure. We're gonna go into the Bloomfield Drive today, just in the clean, uh, in the clean channel, and uh, we're in the low watt mode, so it's in that 20 watt kind of mode. And I have some overdrive pedals on the ground, but I'm just gonna use the Duelist, and I'm gonna use the Blues Breaker side, that circuit, and then um, yeah, let's just see how things sound. Um, so here is I'm gonna start with the neck pickup and then the bridge, and then I'll show you the difference between those and the middle. So I'll go back and forth between neck middle, bridge, middle kind of thing. So we're going to start clean, no overdrive at all, okay? Here's the neck pickup. You gotta, you gotta play it. You really gotta play it. Now, if I do stuff like this, this is where you're gonna hear the the Mary stuff kind of come in. It's got such a great. It's like not as spongy as the neck, as the neck pickup would be. Um, but it's still got that thing. It's got some give to it, but it's just got this beautiful bell-like clarity that I love. I just freaking love it. All right, let's put some overdrive on. 
Gotta be a judge for yourself, gotta go on and do that. <clears throat> so, that is my beef today with strats. <laughs> not my beef, it's not a beef, because I love strats. In fact, um, I'm such a strat player that I was talking to one of my bandmates about getting a Les Paul, and he's like, why are you doing that? You always, you do this, you get you get a, a Les Paul type guitar, <clears throat> whatever it may be, and then you keep it for a little bit and then you sell it, and because you know you're a strat and a telly guy. It's like, you know, He's probably right. He's probably right. But anyway, don't sleep on that middle pickup, y'all. I mean, it's it's a glorious thing to kind of experiment with. And you should experiment with it in terms of like using your different overdrive pedals and different fuzzes to see how it reacts to that. Because you might stumble across something that is just like mind-blowingly great to you in terms of the sound. I think that there's a, a kind of poignant focus, like I said, uh, punch that this pickup allows us to obtain and I think that is the main thing that the majority of us regular everyday folk Clark Kent walking around town type people guitarists we don't use it we don't use that middle pickup and I think it's there's something to be discovered there so dive in have fun find all the tones that's what we're doing here take care of yourself take care of each other and I'll see you next time